Hello everyone. Today we will see resonance and magnetically coupled circuits. Resonance is one of the part and second part is coupled circuits. The circuits can be coupled. What is meant by circuit? You know, connection of various elements. Whereas circuits can be coupled two types. One is magnetically coupled, another one electrically coupled. We can magnetically couple circuits. We can see magnetically coupled circuit in this session. Magnetically coupled means the two windings are magnetically coupled. Due to the flux linkage in one winding, will touch another wind. That means one inductor and another inductor L2. That means the inductance, the inductance has stores the energy in the form of magnetic field. Magnetically coupled circuits has only inductance. Inductance stores the energy in the form of magnetic field. Magnetically coupled circuits, mostly the inductance, whereas capacitor stores the energy in the form of electrostatic field. Therefore, resistor doesn't store any energy. Therefore, L only consider. If we consider passive elements, RLC, out of this, magnetically energy storing element is inductor. If we consider such an inductor and place it side by side, then it is known as magnetically coupled circuit. It is a magnetically coupled circuit, conductively separated. Conductively means it is not direct link by wire. If you connect a wire here, it is a conductively coupled. If it is not there, then it is a magnetically coupled. Previously, also in the fourth chapter, resonance on magnetically coupled circuits, you can see two inductors, two inductors L1 and L2 are connected. These are the magnetic flux flowing through, whenever car supply is given for this winding, magnetic flux flowing through and link with this coil or this inductor. Coil means it is an inductor. If one of the circuit is energized, if one circuit is energized by using an AC supply, then what happen? What will happen? The energy produced which will transfer from one magnetic medium to another circuit so that some energy will be produced in circuit 2. This is called magnetically coupled circuit. Due to the current I1, magnetic flux phi1 will be produced in inductor because magnetic flux will be produced in the winding coil or inductor. Inductor stores the energy in the form of electromagnetic field, whereas capacitor stores in electrostatic field. In this chapter, we will see only inductor. If one of the circuit is energized, another will produce Another one will be produce some voltage due to this uh, flux, this flux links with this coil. This will, E2 will be generated, voltage will be generated. This is due to inductance and self-inductance and mutual inductance. What is self-inductance? What is mutual inductance? What is coefficient of coupling? Then some problems. Those will be very important for five marks or 10 marks. From fourth unit, there are two parts. One is resonance, another one, magnetically coupled circuits. If you prepare resonance very well, you can able to, you are able to answer one question, 10 mass question. Another, at the same time from unit four, you can get another part, magnetically coupled circuit. This is very easy, we only simple formulas are there. One of the circuit is energy, another will produce some voltage that is called magnetically coupled. You understand that magnetically coupled means magnetic flux links with another coil. Now, two circuits are there. These two circuits, you can see here, the two circuits set to be magnetically coupled if energy transfer takes place from one circuit to another circuit. If energy is transferred from one circuit to another circuit, then the circuit, one circuit is energized, then energy will be transferred. Therefore, in such case, we have two types of inductances will happen. One is self-inductance and mutual inductance. Self-inductance means self-inductance. It is a self. Due to self-current, then due to self-current, what is the magnetic flux linking with the same circuit changes? Then it is called self-inductance. Self-inductance, what is self-inductance? If you consider here, if you consider here, you can see here, You can see now. 
suppose this is the one coil due to this coil another coil will be there may not be there suppose due to current flow in i1 this is the current i1 and flux phi1 will be produced due to the this current the emf will be induced in this coil e1 because we given supply voltage v1 v1 is the supply voltage we given for this due to the current flowing in this coil a voltage will be induced that due to self inductance when a current changes in a circuit the magnetic flux linked with the same circuit changes and the emf induced in the circuit this emf is proportional to rate of change of current this emf e is proportional to rate of change of current that is v is proportional to v is proportional to di by dt you can see here clear now see when a current changes in one circuit the magnetic flux linked with the same circuit changes an emf that emf is called v that is proportional to di by dt if di by dt changes the voltage also induced also changes that is if you remove the proportionality you will get v equal to l di by dt make it as equation 1 that is the voltage equation of inductor v equal to l di by dt where l is known as self inductance this is called self inductance what is self inductance defend self and mutual inductance two mass questions will come whereas l is the self inductance l is called as self inductance Now, if you remove, if you send this to this side, then you will get L, where L is called N phi by I. The inductance is defined as flux linkage divided by current. Flux linkage means a number of turns into phi, that is flux linkages. Number of turns into phi called flux linkage. The N is the number of turns into phi is the magnetic flux, phi. N phi is called magnetic flux linkage. N phi is called magnetic flux linkage. Magnetic flux linkage by current gives inductance. This is the definition of inductance actually. The number of magnetic flux links divided by current gives inductance. We know that V equal to L di by dt. In place of this, you can replace N phi by L. In place of from this equation, from this equation, you can replace. You can replace this. V equal to L D D phi. V equal to L D I by D T. From this, I equal to L into M phi by L if you replace D I by D T. From that, n. If you remove this l one by l n d phi by dt, from that v equal to n d phi by dt, you will get. Make it as equation number two. Make it as equation number two. After that, comparing the equations one and two, compare the equations one and two. Comparing the equations 1 and 2, you, will get, you can compare now. Comparing equations 1 and 2, n d phi by dt equal to L n d phi by dt equal to L di by dt. From this, d phi, dt, dt, you can get cancel on both sides. L equal to n d phi by di. This is the formula inductance. Self inductance formula is n d phi by di. d phi flux linkage divided by rate of change of current. Change in flux linkage divided by rate of change of current into number of turns. That gives self inductance. Mutual inductance in the sense due to change in current in one coil, what is the EMF induced in another coil that is called mutual inductance. Let us consider two coils. Now we go for mutual inductance. What is self inductance? Due to same current coil, what is flux linkages? That is called self inductance. 
mutual inductance means due to another coil. Mutual understanding, you know, mutual inductance is nothing but due to another coil. What is the inductance induced in one coil that is called mutual inductance? Let us consider two coils, L1 and L2, which are sufficiently close together. So that coil 1 is energized I1, starts flowing current and flux phi 1 will be produced. This one, phi 1 1 is the flux produced due to this coil only, phi 1 1. Now, this flux also links with coil 2, that is, and produces mutual flux phi 1 2. This flux, this flux links with this coil and produces a flux phi 1 2. Similarly, the flux produced in coil 2 links with coil 1 and produces mutual flux phi 2 1. Due to this coil 2, it links with coil 1. We can say it is phi 2 1. Similarly, due to this flux linkages, an EMF induced in primary and second of coils that is given by coil 1 inductance is VL1. What is coil 1 induced EMF is VL1 that is M2 into di2 by dt. Due to this flux linkages, EMF will be induced in primary and second of coils because the transformer is a magnetically coupled circuit. VL1 equal to M2 into di2 M2 into the coil inductance, the voltage induced in coil 1 is VL1 that equal to M2 into di2, change in current in coil 2 divided by dt. How much time it is changing? That is M2 into di2 of t by dt. Make it as equation 1. In coil 2, what is the EMF induced VL2 due to change in current in coil 1? Coil 1 current, what is the change that we have to consider? VL2 is M1 into mutual inductance 1 di1 by dt. Make it as equation number 2. Similarly, where M1 and M2 are proportional constants, both are equal, M1 equal to M2 equal to M. That is called mutual inductance. Now, V2 of t equal to M di1 by dt, V1 of t equal to M di2 2 by dt, but V2 of t equal to, what is V2 M d5 1 2 by dt? This we have to remember. Voltage induced in second coil is proportional to number of turns in second coil. Flux links with coil 1 with another one that is divided by dt. Now, when coil linked with other as a medium flux, the current is linearly related. We can see here M equal to M2, phi 1, 2. Now, equating both equations, this equation and V2, another equation, this one, you will get M equal to M2 d phi 1, 2 by di1. Similarly, M equal to, similarly, we can write in place of N1, d phi 2, 1 by di2. This one, mutual inductance. Mutual inductance M equal to any one coil current number of times into change in flux linkage divided by di2. From this, we can find coefficient of coupling. The amount of coupling between inductively coupled coils is expressed in terms of coefficient of coupling. Coefficient of coupling means how much bonding is there between the two coils. If the two coils are very long distance, the coefficient of coupling is very low. If the two coils are very near, but not connected directly, magnetically coupled, transformer, if you assume, the two coils inside the primary winding and secondary winding inside, but a common magnetic flux, common magnetic pop will be there. That is, coefficient of coupling is nothing, but defined coefficient of coupling, two mass question will come. The amount of coupling between inductively coupled coils is expressed in terms of coefficient of coupling. The amount of coupling, how much bond is there between two coils, that is nothing expressed in terms of coefficient of coupling. It is denoted by the letter K. Defined coefficient of coupling, defined self-inductance, defined mutual inductance, these three questions, two mass questions will come. What is coefficient of coupling? K. That is k equal to square root of this formula we have to derive k equal to m divided by square root of l1 l2 
or mutual inductance m equal to k into square root of l1 l2. This formula we have to derive. This derivation also derives the position of coupling for two inductively coupled coils. Let us see that derivation. It is denoted by the letter k. That is k equal to phi 1 2 by phi 1, phi 2 1 by phi 2. Question the coupling. That is flux link with coil 1 due to another coil divided by phi 1 or phi 2 1 by phi 2. Now the derivation if you see, we know that mutual inductance is formula this m1 d phi 2 1 by di 2. Similarly, m equal to m2 d phi 2 by di 1. Therefore, we can equate these two m equal to m1 phi 2 1 by di 2 m equal to m2 phi 1 2 by i 2. We can write if you remove the proportionality that is differentiation then you can write like this. Multiplying 1 and 2 equations you will get m square you will get m square after that but if we know that from definition k phi 1 2 by phi 1 that is phi 1 2 equal to phi 1 into k phi 2 1 equal to phi 2 into k in this we can substitute these two m1 m2 k phi 1 k phi 2 by i1 i2 from that m square equal to k square this k into k k square m1 phi 1 by i1 into m2 phi 2 by i2 this we can write what is l this is l1 we can write k square into l1 l2 this is also L2 with the definition of index self independence L2. From that, k square m square equal to k square into L1 L2. You can write like this. After that, k square equal to m square by L1 L2. You can write from this k equal to m divided by square root of L1 L2. This is the formula. Very important. If you problem also will come. Define quotient of coupling two must means simply write this equation. If you want to derive, simply derive this two lines. For 10 marks or 5 marks, you have to derive both. This is the quotient of coupling k equal to mutual inductance divided by square root of L1, L2. What is m? You can see m. What is m? N1 d phi 2 1 by di2. Flux linkage with the coil 2 1 divided by i2. Similarly, mutual Question the mutual inductance between the coils m equal to k into l1 l2. This formula also we can remember. If you remember this formula, you can remember easily. Where m equal to mutual inductance between the coils, l1 is self inductance of coil, l2 is self inductance of second coil. That means mutual inductance, if you want, question of coupling into square root of the two self inductances that we have to consider. Question of coupling is always less than unity and it has maximum value of 1. The greater the question of coupling between the two coils, the greater the mutual inductance. k equal to m by square root of l1 l2. k value always should be less than 1. Maximum will be 1. 0 0.9 means 90 percent coefficient of coupling. Dot convention in coupled circuits. This is a very important dot convention in couple circuits. We will see this later.